What is going on guys? Jay Rico here. Hope you guys are having a great day as of today. As you guys can see from today's topic of the video guys, we're going to be discussing these signs to know if she's for the streets. Guys, there is plenty of women out there that may say that they are not for the streets, but in reality they are for the streets guys. Don't be fooled by these women that look so innocent, that look so sweet. Half of these women that look innocent and sweet, they're not so innocent and sweet, guys. They're thoughts. They're for the streets. So I'm going to give you these top signs as you could actually tell or know that a woman is for the streets, guys. So number one, number one is actually going to be when this particular chick always wants to go out to clubs, always wants to go out to bars, always wants to go out to party, guys. When a woman that loves to go out and party, when a woman that loves to go out to the bars, when a woman loves to go out, period, and cannot stay home for one night, for one day, guys, guys, let me, let, let me tell you something. Yes, I'm 28 years old. I still consider myself young. I'm still young as of right now. A lot of people have told me that I look younger than 28 years old. I've gotten 24, 23, 25 or whatever. Good for me. I feel like that I'm still currently working and improve myself each and every single day. Now, of course, am I going to stop partying? Of course, not, not anytime soon. I'm still focusing on myself in order for me to improve my actual self or so, guys. But when the women themselves, all they want to do is just party each and every single day without them actually having an actual life aside from that, guys that's when you know that she's actually for the streets women like this guys definitely definitely is not the type of woman that you would want to cuff in your life you definitely shouldn't cuff in your life now of course if you come across a woman like this and if you either want to hang out sometime or if you guys want to hook up sometime then guys of course you're not going to say no that you're not going to want to hook up with her guys of course if she's attractive enough more than likely you are going to want to hook up with her but of course don't take her serious when she either tells you that she likes you or when she literally tells you that she wants a relationship with you guys because first of all you already know she's for the street second of all you're not even going to take this woman serious because all she does each and every single day is just want to party 24 7. that's not attractive most of these women nowadays they don't have nothing to bring to the table other than them just partying that's about it their lives are boring outside of them partying guys what are they doing oh they're just working their nine to five they are they're so stressed out of them literally working their nine to five barely even working their nine to five and they're already stressed out at the end of the day like oh my god work was it was so stressful and it comes to find out guys that they only worked four hours and they took the rest of the day off with pto those are not the type of women that you actually want to take serious those are the type of women that of course a you could actually hook up with guys, but of course, aside from that, you're not going to take these women serious across from that overall here for you there. Just to let you know, that's the number one sign to let you know if she's for the streets. Number two sign is the way she actually dresses. Now, many of you guys are going to say, oh no, a, a woman could actually dress like this, a woman could actually dress like this. Yes, that is correct to a certain extent. Now guys, I'm drinking my wine. This wine is pretty good. <laughs> this is some pretty good wine and I really don't even drink wine like that here for you. But when a woman dresses or her appearance, guys, it is going to say a lot about that particular woman. Just for the simple fact, when a woman actually goes out and about and the way that she is actually dressing says everything about her. Why do you think these women do their makeup 24-7? Why do you think these women literally buy new shoes 24-7? Why do you think these women buy new dresses 24-7? So they could get validation from guys. So they could get validation from guys. And I have heard, oh no, we want to get validation from other women. Yes, that is also correct, but they want to get validation in general. Because when a woman doesn't get validation, guys, or when a, woman, when a woman doesn't get attention, she starts to go crazy. She starts to go crazy. 
There was a viral video that I actually saw earlier within as of this week or so, guys. It was this one chick that had some big breasts, whatever you want to call it. Yes, she was inside her car at a gas station. I believe she was by herself. I'm not sure. A group of car, an actual car and a group of guys that are inside the car park right next to her for whatever reason. I'm guessing they get out. And I'm guessing she doesn't have any tint or anything like that at all. So these guys can immediately actually see her or so. But they don't pay no attention to the chick at all. And you can still see her breasts is popping out at, out, outside at all here for you. And you know what she does? Instead of her just going on about her day, she starts ranting. She starts ranting. And she starts literally going off as to why all of those guys never actually looked her way. More than likely, guys, is because they already know that they don't give a fuck about women. They don't give a fuck about these women or so. Yes, they may have women or they may have wives or they may have girls outside of, uh, out there in the actual world itself here in the relationship or so, guys. Regardless if they have either women or not, guys, they actually did not look at the actual specific chick or so. So they didn't give her the validation and that woman actually started going crazy, going on a rant, talking in regards to why are these guys not looking at me? Am I not attractive enough? Guys, these women, they get so insecure in their head. This is the reason why I do tell you guys is that men are supposed to be men, be men and women. That's a whole different story on, on, on a different occasion here for you, but I'm just saying guys, when women do not get validation from guys or when women do not get validation at all, they start to go crazy. They start to think to themselves, am I not attractive enough? Am I not cute enough? What's going on? And this is the reason why I do tell you is that whenever women actually do dress a certain way or whenever they actually do dress with skirt, with short skirts or dress with like an actual small dresses that actually have their boobs popping out, guys, they're doing that for a reason. They love that attention. They love that attention. They want that validation from these guys. This is when you actually know that she's for the streets. If she can't get validation from these guys and she's going to go crazy, what am I going to do? Women nowadays, of course, yes, they do get validation each and every single day. This is the reason why I do tell you guys is that guys, if a woman comes up to you and talks to you, hey, fine, by all means, do it. But of course, if the woman doesn't come up to you and talk to you. And if you guys literally are keep on staring at her, staring at her, she's going to know that you actually are attracted to her and that you already know that you want her. It's game over for you there because you already gave her that validation for you checking her out. Longs and period of periods of time itself here for you. Yes, there has been women that I have checked out previously before, but it hasn't been to an excessive amount where she actually knows that I'm actually specifically interested in her. She just knows that I actually glanced at her for a second, two seconds, and that was it. And I continued about my day here for you there. This is the reason why I'd say is that in the sign number two, when a woman dresses the way that she should dress, dress, and if she does dress like a slut, more than likely, guys, she's for the streets. So you just got to let that know on top of that here for you. Sign number three is that when you go to the woman's social media and then all you see in regards to her post or so are either sexual explicit stuff her literally half naked, 24 seven on all her posts, most of her posts were literally either doing booty shots or, or boob shots, whatever you want to call it, or how do you call it, thirst traps or so guys, that's when you know that she's actually for the streets. She's for the streets just for the, just for the specific actual reason, being reasoning behind it is that she actually wants the validation or she wants to get more actual attention from so many other guys when of course women they post pictures and videos like that on their social media of course guys one guy sees it another guy shares it the other guy actually sends it to their other friend or so so they start getting all these notifications from this one specific shit posting these half naked photos and once they see the likes go up and once they see the actual comments go up and once they see the following go up they are going to be addicted to the attention like that here for you. And of course, women don't have self-respect when they actually do post half naked photos of themselves. And yes, half of these women, they may tell you or they may say, oh, no, we love our body. We love ourselves and it's OK. OK, hey, if you love yourself, and you love your body. You can still love yourself and love your body, but you don't have to be half 
naked in order for you to literally show that you have self-respect for you guys. This is when you actually do know that she is for the streets, that you definitely can't even trust her guys. This is the types of women that you should actually not honestly be in an actual relationship with her so guys. But I, of course I do tell you if the moment does come where you guys of course are in the process, we're gonna be hooking up anytime soon here for you. then of course, hey, by all means, guys, go for it. Go for it. I'm not telling you guys to hook up with a specific chick or so, guys. When you guys hit it, guys, you guys gotta hit it. You guys gotta smash it, guys. You guys gotta go all the way in. All the way in, I'm telling you guys. You guys gotta go all the way in here for you. And then sign number four, when a girl is for the streets, when she has a Snapchat premium, when she has an OnlyFans, guys, that's when you know that she is for the streets, guys. When she has an OnlyFans or when she has a Snapchat premium, now for the people that don't know what a Snapchat premium is, the Snapchat premium is in regards to similar to OnlyFans, but of course you pay like a subscription service. Sometimes for some of these women, you pay a one-time fee of $20, $30, and then of course you have lifetime access of her literally posting pictures of her naked, videos of her naked, videos of her getting rammed, videos of her getting fucked or so. Or on OnlyFans, it's the same exact thing, but with OnlyFans, you do pay a subscription each and every single month. Minimum could be like $5, $10. I've seen all the way to literally as high as $40, I believe, $50 or so. Guys, these women, they get money like that 24 seven. When a woman literally doesn't wanna work and only has Snapchat premium or her OnlyFans, guys, that's when you know that she's a lazy bum. And on top of that, guys, She's for the streets. She literally doesn't mind showing her body out there like that for a little bit of cash. Just imagine what she actually would do if somebody attractive came up to her and told her, hey, I'm gonna offer you $1,000 if you let me smash you. Knowing that she already has an OnlyFans, guys, what is the percentage of her saying actually yes compared to her saying no? An attractive guy comes up to her, she's already making bank, but then if she gets a pretty good offer, more than likely guys, she's gonna say yes. And I'm sorry to tell you guys, and now if you guys are talking to any of these actual specific chicks or so guys, hey, I wouldn't personally actually have these actual particular chicks or so as far as in my rotation or so guys, because they are tons and plenty of women out there for you guys. Now this is the reason why I do tell you guys these specific signs that these women are for the streets because I don't want you falling for this actual trap itself here for you. We guys are actually better than that. We are actually becoming more high value each and every single day as the days go by. As why well, these, honestly, of course, guys, I really don't want to say this, but hey, when the woman's actual age, as, as the, uh, the actual, I'm guessing the more that they actually do age, the more that their actual uh, high, the value of the woman does drop down. The older that we actually do age, guys, the higher our value does go up. That's just the way it is, guys. That's just the way it actually have works here for you. And that is it for us of today's video here for you guys. If you guys did like my video as of today, hey, I would appreciate you guys if you guys did hit the like down below. And of course, guys, if you guys have any questions, any comments in the comment section down below here for you guys. Guys, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me on Instagram, J underscore Rico 92. I'll see you guys in the next one.